Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Match. MPV. Oh, how I love thee. Today I'm going to talk about MPV, a program for watching videos. Now, for most of the time that I've been using Linux, which is over three and a half years, I've been watching most of my videos in YouTube. But when I have a video to watch on from my hard drive, I've been using Celluloid. And if you downloaded my GitLab repository and installed my auto app configuration file, you will have Celluloid installed on your system. And the reason why I've been using Celluloid is that when I first started using Linux, I was using Linux Mint. And Linux Mint ships with Celluloid by default. And over the years, I tried using MPV a few times, but I didn't like it because I thought it was too simple and it didn't have enough functionality. But I was wrong. And I started using MPV maybe about a month ago, and it's really lightweight, and I kind of liked it, even though it had less functionality. But I was wrong. Celluloid has a lot of functionality, but it's keyboard driven. So what I'm going to do is, first, I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of celluloid and then I'm going to do a demonstration of MPV. So let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up PCMANFM, my favorite file manager. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Peppermint in celluloid. So let's click it on. So as you can see, uh, you can use your mouse to make it full screen. And there's a volume control here. And you can make it go up and down. And of course you have your play and pause button. And so forth. So I'm just going to turn off the mic and turn on the internal volume and just play it for a moment. 2023. So let's get to it. I have my web browser open and I'm at the Peppermint website. Right here it says they released their new operating system on July 1st, 2023. And if you read this paragraph, they tell you that their main desktop... So that was just a quick demonstration of uh, the video. And as you can see, I have a volume control here. It goes up and down and so forth. So now I'm going to close this. And I'm going to close my file manager. And I'm going to open up Ranger. Now Ranger is a file manager that works in the terminal. And I did a video on that a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. And I'm just going to open it up. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to go to Ranger. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on right here, this little icon on the right of the video and make it full screen. So when I first started using uh, MPV, I thought, oh, there's the volume control. But it doesn't do anything. Well, if you click it on, it turns on and off the volume. After my installation, that is, I manually make a username. I give them a password. To create a username for me. And to give them a password and to give them pseudo privileges. And like I said, normally I don't. So as you can see, pressing this turns the volume on and off. And I thought, there's no volume control? Like, what the heck? But afterwards... I realize there is a volume control. So you use the number keys, nine and zero make the volume go up and down. So I'm gonna do a demonstration of it. Nothing installed. The only thing I installed when I made a, when I created this installation of Arch Linux was Vim. In the automated installer, I chose to install booted into the freshly installed system and of course I'm in a TTY and I apologize for the small font because at this point I don't know how to make the font bigger. So if I do ls-a there's very little in my home folder. So first thing I want to do is I want to make a folder called .config. So as you can see the 0 makes it go louder and the 9 makes it go lower. And that's how you adjust the volume. The way you pause and start the video is you use the button on your mouse, the right button. You click the right button on your mouse and it pauses and restarts the video. If you're downloading my uh, configuration files from my GitLab,
GitHub repository into Linux Mint or Manjaro or so as you can see clicking on the right button pauses it and restarts it now there's another thing and that's the bottom time bar so by default the bar is on auto which means when you put the mouse down it comes up when you move your mouse away it hides itself well there's a way to keep that on all the time and a way to turn it off so it never comes on and you hit the delete key so if I hit the delete key it's gonna stay on all the time if I hit the delete key again it's gonna be off all the time and if I hit the delete key a third time it's gonna be back on auto which means it only goes on when the mouse goes to the bottom so now I'm gonna give you a demonstration of that so you can see uh, right now it's on auto but when I hit the delete key visibility always so now it's always going to be on no matter where my mouse is and what, it, what I'm doing hit the delete key again visibility never so now it's never going to be on and if I hit the delete key again now it's on auto so when the mouse goes down it goes on when the mouse is away it's off now there's an, a way to speed up and slow down the video and that's using the square brackets so if you use the square brackets on your keyboard the bracket on your right hand side makes the video speed up and the bracket on your left hand side makes the video speed go slower so I'm going to demonstrate that what we're going to want to do is install git because you can't download my GitLab repository unless you have git installed so I'm going to do sudo let's clear the screen I'm going to do sudo pacman dash capital S and git and then click okay yes and it's going to get so now git's installed and then I'm going to type in this command git well, https full colon slash slash and, and it's going to download all my configuration files from my GitLab repository now if you think this command is too hard to remember or too hard to type in and in the show notes I always have this command in there you can go into the show notes so for instance if you're running a fully installed system and you have a web browser a Firefox or whatever go to the show notes of any of my videos copy this line and paste it into the terminal so the reason why I like using MPV as a replacement for a celluloid number one it's light it works in the terminal I think it's fantastic and it has an easy way to pause it and start it by clicking on the right button of your mouse the volume control is use your number key zero or nine to make the volume go up and down you can make the bottom time bar be on auto so it only shows when the mouse goes down there you can click click on your delete key and that bottom time bar will stay on all the time hit the delete key again and the bottom bar will stay off all the time and be invisible or and click it again and it will be back to auto which means it goes on and off depending on where your mouse is and you can speed up the video and slow down the video with your square brackets square bracket makes it go faster this square bracket makes it go slower so i really love mpv it's available in every linux distribution and i hope you'll love it too let me know in the comments what you think i hope you learned something today and if you did please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Lennox Mensch.